What's going on, y'all? It's your guy, C. Paris, and I'm in here with a super color sample pack. We're going to look through, see what they give. Then I'm going to press some of the wearables to a T-shirt just to see what it look like. See how I come out on a black T-shirt. Man, C. Paris, 12 on apparel. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Shout out my squad, Mike T's, your dig lifestyle. Say how you feel, TV, all things style, man. We got next, man. Hashtag squad, man. I'll see y'all in a sec. So this is the super color sample pack. I don't even know if they had this one anymore or what they give, but I've had this for a while from like when super color like first came on the scene. Um, I wasn't really interested in it then, so I've just been sending it around, but uh, now I want to get into to the full color, so I'm going to do a couple tests, see how they work out, but I had this little pack, so we're just going to see what's in it. It was a bunch of samples, though, so this is the promotional one. It says this transfer is perfect for items that will not be washed. So I would assume like tote bags and backpack type deals, um, stuff like that, I would think. Um, suitable for a wide range of items. Five, or excuse me, 6,000 nylon bags. 600D nylon bags, non-woven tote bags, calico bags, umbrellas, etc. Transfer has no stretch, so it's not suitable for garments. Let's just see what's in here. It's a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Eagle. I like that. Maximilians. Hi Fi Hops. The Extraordinary Minds program, whatever that is. It's a little skull. But one thing, like off top, sorry, I had it backwards. But one thing off top I like is the clear backing. I hate when you got to deal with something and you can't see through it. So I ain't even going to back this. So just set that to the side. Um, what's this one? Sub blocker. Dye migration transfers. That stop the color of the garment coming through the transfer. Suitable for all fabric types. Tested to 50 plus domestic wash cycles. Good stretch. Oh, I forgot to see what the temp time was on this. Press time on these were. Press temperature 250 degrees to 285. Press time is 6 to 10 seconds. Which is cool, the speed of it. Um, this one is... Sub blocker. Press temperature is 285 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Press time 10 seconds. Let's see what's up in here. But I like they give you a whole bunch. Uh, you know, I give you a bunch of them in each package to test out. <clears throat> That's pretty cool looking. Mm, don't stop the party. Patagonia. <laughs> Good old Netflix and chill, huh? Levi Strauss, which is my favorite pair of jeans by far. Get on to this next one. This is headwear, so for your hats and stuff. Suitable for most cap styles. Not suitable for fabrics that are sublimated or ones that migrate. Will bridge the seam of a six panel cap. Only needs one press, no second press needed in most cases. Press temperature is 285. To 300 degrees Fahrenheit press time is 10 seconds. Let's see what they got here. Jump force. I look like um, 
forgot that my kid used to like it. Uh, forgot what it's called. Dragon Ball Z, I think. A little horse. But again, man, I like this clear backing. Raspberry. Metamucil. Talking to us old folks. <laughs> Africa. Let's get on to this next one. Let's see what this is. Soft shell blocker. Dye migration transfers to soft shell garments to stop the spotty bleed associated with this fabric. Tested the 50 plus domestic wash cycles. This transfer has less stretch than our normal transfer and should be used on fabrics with little or no stretch. So, not t shirts. Press temperature 285 to 300. Press time 10 seconds. See what that gives. It's a pretty good sample pack, though. Give you a bunch of stuff to work with in each one. Professionals. I don't know whose logo that is. Poor hold on, I don't recognize any of these logos. Return Services League, Australia. MTF Finance. Maintain, maintain property. I have no idea who any of those people are. What's this one here? Um, test transfers. What does this say? Uh, sorry, my eyes are wide. Use this transfer to test garments for adhesion and color migration. This allows to test all three transfer options in one go. Apply it on fabric and wait for 24 hours to check if a blocker is needed. If soft shell type fabric you may have to wait up to five days. Press time 285 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Press temperature, or excuse me, press time 10 seconds. So some test transfer, let's see. Oh, okay, so. Okay, so they give you this so you can press them on and see what it does. Wearable, blocker, soft shell. Oh, that's cool. So you can just press one of these on one test fabric and it's all the same. But you can test, press one of them, all three onto the same fabric and see which each one does with that fabric. All right, so here's the last one. Wearables. And the wearable says suitable for fabric types, for all fabric types. Not suitable for fabrics that are sublimated or ones that migrate. Tested this 50 plus domestic wash cycles. Good stretch. Press temperature 285 to 300 degrees. Press time 10 seconds. So, press time 10 seconds. That's, that's typical for all of them, which is cool. That's not too long. But what's in there? A bold. Curbside chippies. Another Pokemon. Pokemon Sword. Awesome. So, I'm going to just press some stuff on a t-shirt. I'm going to do this one, the wearables, because that's typically what I would use more. Um, yeah, we'll just do t-shirts. We'll probably do another video with the hat, with the hat one another day. But my heat press is already heated up. I'm going to get it set up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got a shirt. That I just did a practice print on. Um, but. 
just put this back. I got my heat my heat press out. It's at 285. Edges are off a little different, but the middle is at 285. But these are small transfers, so we're going to be hitting right in the middle. And as a time saver, I'm going to just set them all down. It didn't say anything about a cover sheet, so we're just going to go without a cover sheet. I'm going to just press them all. Oh, hold on. Let me do a pre-press just to be sure. And I need to turn on my pressure. So it has pressure time on them. But I don't know anything about it, what it is, because it's like for one that you can manually put in. And as you can tell, mine is not manual. So we're just going to run with it. I'm going to put all four of them down. And it said 10 seconds. My timer set for 10 seconds. So we're going to see. It's a hot peel. Oh, that looks real good, though. Looks real good. I like how it looks on there. From the looks of this, once I'm ready to do get my full color transfers, I'm definitely going to go by just by looks. Soft. Nice soft feel. I love that. Yeah, so. So we can get them in there for you. They feel real nice. I'm looking at my camera. I want to focus on that. Boom. Um, But the feel is real nice, though. I like that. That's one thing I love about when you guys press them and then just that soft hand feel. And again, that was the Super Color Wearables transfers sample pack. See Paris 12 going apparel. That's your super color transfer review right there. See Paris 12 going apparel if you haven't already. See Paris 12 going apparel if you haven't already. Like, comment, subscribe. 12 going apparel, the dream in my eye. I be an example to myself in the tears that I cry. Judging by the way that pressed up on that t shirt, man. I'm going to be definitely checking out Super Color. A lot of reviews I've seen out here are pretty good. So I'm going to definitely be checking that out in the near future. And when I get my own designs printed by them, man, we're going to have another video on it. Seek Paris 12 Gone Apparel, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all next time.